Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use Spring Profile in your Spring application. So, normally when we develop an application, we have at least two machine. One is our local machine and another is our server. So, in our local machine, we normally use uh, our local database where a database looks like this. We have a uh, local host data source URL name, uh, user name is admin and password, maybe nothing or maybe something and your database name is something. Now, when you are done with your uh, Spring application, now you want to deploy it on your server. Uh, and server has a different kind of URL, username, password and database. So what do you do to, you know, change uh, this URL? Well, of course, you can manually change this uh, information before deploying, but Spring Profile makes it easier where you don't have to uh, manually change this information over and over or whenever you need to change it. Okay, so let's see how it works. So I'm going to use this project, Spring ABC Hibernet. If you have not uh, watched my another video where I explained how Spring ABC works with Hibernet, go check it out uh, the link will be in the description below so yeah let's get started with this so I'm gonna get this project so this is the project so let me just import it so I've cloned it in my PC and I'm importing it okay let me just remove this folder first okay so folder was removed now let me just resize it okay so resize is done now to add the profile you need to go to your config your database config and add data source use the data source bin here you add the profile so here profile name can be uh, deb and you can use another profile like this so here it's going to be server maybe or whatever name you want then just change the method name sorry server and maybe add your database information over here as well so we're gonna specify the database as well so in my local machine I don't have any password so that's that and uh, database name is dev dv okay and here database name is server d server dv okay let's just adjust it with this method and just change it over here okay Profiling is all done over here. Now I need to add this into the configuration. It tells Spring that the profile I'm going to use. So here we need to override one method uh, on startup. Okay, next subred context dot set init parameter. Here you need to add this key value. Uh, okay profile active and your profile name so you could manually use the name over here for example if you could use the uh, dev and it would just work fine but that defeats the purpose of using the profile and manually entering the name so what you can do is get this from the environment variable uh, so to get it from the environment variable we could do you get env so maybe our environment variable name is pc env so for now uh, let's just uh, set up the pc env in our environment variable okay i have already set it up over here uh, it's uh, set up as a dev PC, so let's just use that for now Because I don't want to restart my IntelliJ again Anyway, so it's a uh, dev PC and server. Okay, that's good next 
So this is our configuration part is over here done. Uh, that's all there is to use uh, the string profile. So yeah, let's just now run this application. Okay, before running, we need to create the database. So let's connect to the database first. Uh, we don't know any database. Have any database for now? So let's test the connection. Okay, we don't have the database. So let's start our database. It has started. Now it should be working, and it does. Select OK and add the database. So we need to create the database. So here we have given the database name DevDB. So let's create that. So database is created. Now select the database and now run this project. Add the Tomcat and okay. Now let's start. Okay, so now according to our code, uh, we have created a method called home controller. Here, if we go and add this user, we'll add. Let us change it a little bit. So I've changed it this way, nothing fancy, so that I don't have to write the ID every time. So let's. Read apply. Let's go to our browser and say add app user. So it's working. Let's add some more and go to the database. Okay. If we go all the usernames are getting added so it's fine so far we have done it in our dev machine so now let's assume this virtual machine is our server and this is the server location so let's go to there So here I'm going to start my server and here I'm going to see the log. Okay, so for now there is nothing. Now let's go to your application. Go to the terminal and make war file from it just by typing mvn package c k package so it's gonna create the root dot war file over here so let's get that root dot war file and I'm just gonna paste it in my web app directory of the Tomcat. So it's there. Now let's uh, set up the environment variable first. So according to our code, we need the environment variable to be server. Uh, and so. server okay now let's open up the MySQL password is one two three four five six and just let's create the database uh,
server db. Yeah, okay. Now, if we run our application with the command uh, start sh and go to the tail, we'll see the application should. Okay, there is some problem with the database connection. Okay, I forgot to add bean over here. So let's just do that. And do the packaging again. Uh, let's remove it from here. First, let's do the shutdown. Go to my original machine, dev machine, and copy the root and paste it. Finally, just start. Now it should work fine, and it does. So, let's open up the browser. Go to the local host, port 8080, app works fine. Now if we add app user, maybe a couple of times more, and go to the my SQL, select our database, uh, use server db, select from app user so you can see all our database information is added over here now if we add do it a couple of more time then we see the reflection over here okay so yeah that's it guys that's all I wanted to show you in this video that how you can use the spring profile version so that you don't have to uh, use change your uh, database URL and uh, our my uh, URL uh, user is almost same over here but uh, in a real world server uh, this will be hardly the case so it will be different so yeah you can change it you can also use it for different views if you want like if you want uh, JSP uh, for dev and uh, timely f and HTML for uh, your server you can do that over there as well but nobody probably wouldn't do that I hope you understand the basic idea of profile uh, if you have any question feel free to ask it in the comment below and of course the code will be on the github and the link will be in the description below thank you guys for watching bye bye